everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with the walkthrough of the July 2015 card kit. This kit definitely has a nautical theme to it, and to start off I'll show you the stamp set called Sailing, and it has a wonderful waves border, some clouds, a sailboat, life preserver, and stars, and also sail away. Also included in the kit, you'll get a complete package of the Tim Holtz Ideology Travel Adornments, and these are perfect with the nautical theme. You also get a little bag of goodies, and in there is some natural twine, and this is from May Arts. You also get a little sailboat die from Simon Says Stamp, and this is a really adorable sized die, and it cuts out in three different pieces. And also you get two anchor clips from Maya Road, and these are great if you wanted to add them to some layered papers. The 6x6 six six papers come from Authentique and they are double sided. They are nautical theme and the colors are red, white, and blue. Also a really nice light blue and also some grays. And also in this kit you will receive five sheets of cardstock. So we have navy, ivory, lipstick red, another ivory, and so that is it, and that's the contents for the July 2015 card kit from Simon Says Stamp. I have put together a panel using some of my pattern papers, and I put those onto white Nina cardstock. I've cut them to the same width, and I've used the seagulls, the waves, and then a little trim of red, and also the anchors to the left side. To cut out my circle, I have used the stitch circles, and so I just placed that right where I wanted it. And then I ran that through my die cut machine. I've also created a card from the navy card stock, and it's a top folding card. And what I want to do is stamp into the center of that circle. So I'm using my MISTI tool here, and I'm going to go ahead and line everything up so that I can stamp the sail away right into that center of that circle. So I'm using my anti-static bag first, since I'll be white embossing my message. And what I love about using this MISTI tool is I can arrange my stamp wherever I want it. And I've decided to go ahead and kind of center it off to the right side. And then I can shut the lid and then that keeps that stamp in place. Now I can just remove that top portion or the top panel and go ahead and place that navy piece right in place. And I have used the little magnet that comes with it and that holds it right snug to that right side. And I'm using my Versamark ink and I'm going to get this really well inked. And another beauty of the MISTI tool is that if I don't have it well inked, I can always go back and try it again. So once that's inked, I can go ahead and press that down right onto that navy cardstock, and I'm using my fingers to press that down really well. And next I'll sprinkle on my white embossing powder. And since I'm using a darker paper for the background, I'll want to make sure I get off any excess embossing powder off before I heat set this. And once I have that all ready, I can go ahead and heat set that with my heat tool. And I do like to use the Milwaukee heat tool since it's really hot air. And so the panel will sit on top like this. But first, I'm going to turn this into a shaker card. I have cut a piece of acetate and I've also put the waves pattern image onto the MISTI. You can hardly see the acetate right there. But I'll be using my white stays on ink. And I'm just going to ink up a portion of the stamp where I know it'll kind of peek through that window. So I don't necessarily have to get the entire stamp done, and I really don't want to get Versamark onto that padding that's on my MISTI. So go ahead and press that down, and then uh, I do expect it to stick, so I'm going to go ahead and put my finger right underneath, and that pulls up, and I have a really nice impression. If I didn't, of course, I could go back and re-stamp. But next, I'm going to position this just a little bit higher up so I can get a second set of waves, and I'll kind of peek through here to make sure that those are lined up to how I want them. And once they are, I'll go ahead and re-ink my stamp and stamp again. Here's how everything will start looking once I put them together. And I'm also kind of getting an eye of where I need to trim that acetate down so I can adhere it to the back of that panel. I've used my tape runner to put my acetate in place, and I've also used some double-sided foam tape in place. And I'm using my powder tool to go around that foam tape just to powder it up so those sequins don't stick to the sides of the tape. And once I have that ready, I can go ahead and pour my sequins in, and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Moonshine sequin. And to finish off the shaker portion, I'm going to lay my note card right on top, 
I'm going to be really, really careful to line this up since I have all of my foam tape exposed. I've pulled off all the backing. Once I have that lined up, I can go ahead and press that down. And when I turn that over, you can see how really easy it is to make a shaker card. To finish off my card, I cut the sailboat from white and red cardstock, and then I colored the portion of the sailboat with the silver pen. And I also white embossed a little cloud with some of the pattern paper and added that to the top of the circle. I hope I've given you some inspiration on card ideas to use with the July 2015 card kit from Simon Says Stamp, and thanks for watching.